water that has leaked from the number one reactor into its turbine housing was being pumped out and stored temporarily in the condenser. As a result, Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says the water level in the turbine building's basement has dropped to 20 centimeters, half what it was seven days ago. But the work has been suspended because the turbine's condenser is already full of water. Now the turbine buildings of the number two and three units. TEPCO plans to drain them as well and store the water in their condensers. TEPCO says that's going to take time. The company will first siphon off water from the condensers that are full and transfer it to other tanks in the system. Puddles on the floor of the number two turbine buildings are especially highly radioactive. Readings taken on Sunday are 100,000 times higher than water in a normally operating reactor. High radiation has been detected in water in the basements of the turbine buildings of the number one and number three reactors as well. Meanwhile, pressure inside the number two and number three reactors has been low. The nuclear and industrial safety agency says air may be leaking from them. Although there is no indication of large cracks or holes in the reactor pressure vessels. Pressure vessel has valves and pipes and openings where control rods are inserted. And fluctuations in temperature and pressure might have weakened those parts. And that ha might have caused leak of radioactive water into the containment vessel. Meanwhile, smoke rose from one of the turbine buildings at the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant on Wednesday afternoon. The facility is located about 10 kilometers south of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant. The smoke stopped soon after it was spotted. The operator says an electrical problem could be to blame. TEPCO also says this incident caused no environmental harm. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says radioactive iodine 3,000 355 times the safety standard was found in seawater near the Fukushima Daiichi plant on Tuesday. This was the highest reading of the radioactive material in the area since this crisis began. The level of radioactive iodine-131 found 330 meters south of a water outlet of the plant was 3,355 times regulated standards at 1.55 p.m. on Tuesday. An NISA official says the agency will spray synthetic resin on the ground of the site so that nuclear substances emitted from the crippled reactors will no longer spread into the sea or outside the site. The Japanese government says the radiation likely won't affect marine. But it plans to monitor the wider area of water around the plant. The international environmental group Greenpeace has called on the Japanese government to widen the 30-kilometer evacuation zone around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, giving priority to evacuating children and pregnant women. Greenpeace sent five experts to measure radiation levels in the air at seven locations in Fukushima Prefecture over the weekend. They told reporters in Tokyo on Wednesday that radiation levels as high as 8 to 10 microsieverts per hour were detected near the Itate village office 40 kilometers northwest of the plant on Sunday. Radiation expert Yan Van de Putte said these levels are high enough for people to exceed in just 100 hours the amount of radiation exposure allowed for one year. He said the government should not limit the evacuation zone to just 30 kilometers away from the plant. Taking the emergency situation into account, we recommend an evacuation of the population of the most contaminated areas with a priority for pregnant women and children. 
Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano responded to the Greenpeace data on Wednesday afternoon. If objective information can be provided about the type and location of the survey, the, go the government will consider what measures to be taken. Japan's agriculture ministry is to check soil around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant for radiation before the start of rice planting next month. Levels of radioactive cesium-137 as high as 2,200 times the normal figure have been detected in soil in Itate village, Fukushima prefecture, about 40 kilometers northwest of the plant. Cesium-137 stays in the environment for a long time as it has a half-life of 30 years. The Agriculture Ministry is preparing to check soil of 150 patio patties located more than 30 kilometers from the plant. Inspectors are to examine samples of soil 15 centimeters underground for radioactive cesium. The Ministry plans to study how much cesium rice plants would take in from contaminated soil, draw up guidelines on the level of contamination allowed for rice growing, and release the results by mid-April.